Tonight, a development in a case that we've been following for years. Just this week, a judge granting 21-year-old James Jimmy Salerno a $250,000 bond. He and three others are accused of brutally killing Charlottean Mary Collins back in 2020. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker joining us live in studio now with what Mary's family has to say about all this. Yeah, this case is truly terrible to listen to. The details are just kind of heart-wrenching at this point, but still a lot of things that we're talking about tonight, one of them being bail bonds. Now that bond did come down for that individual today and her grandmother telling us that it was like a slap in the face. Now she's questioning the entire process of the bond itself, asking how someone could walk free as of now, even with a murder charge. And again, people in, in Charlotte like CMPD also questioning the idea of a bail bond and what is being done for that as well. 21-year-old James Jimmy Salerno appearing before a judge Thursday for a bond hearing. He and three others are accused of killing 20-year-old Mary Collins, a Charlotte woman with a developmental disability in Noda. Salerno is accused of luring Collins into an apartment to spend time with friends. Her body discovered a week later. Investigators saying she was tortured and stabbed more than 133 times. Her body wrapped in a mattress. But Thursday, Salerno granted a $250,000 secured bond. While bond was granted, he has not yet made bond according to county record. No bond for murder. Speaking with Mary's grandmother, Mia Alderman, following the bond hearing, she's left at a loss for words. I think that this should shake the city of Charlotte. I really do, because if you can do something, and they all said in the courtroom, every single one, including his attorney, that this is the worst crime Charlotte has ever seen. She questions how someone charged with first degree murder can walk out of jail. Let me be clear, I, I don't I don't blame magistrates individually. It's a topic CMPD Police Chief Johnny Jennings weighed in on with WCNC Charlotte before. I blame the system. Chief Jennings saying he wants to change the state law to keep violent criminals from bonding out of jail. They need to have those guidelines to say uh, that, okay, we have somebody, somebody who is shot, uh, whether it's a police officer or not, this person is shot. Uh, I should have a minimum that I say that I cannot uh, legally set a bond low enough that this person is, is, can simply walk out the door. Jennings outlined those lack of guidelines in North Carolina provide judges and magistrates to set low bonds for defendants. Alderman saying as the bond was granted, reaction from Salerno was bone chilling. There was no, no sense of compassion and there hasn't been from any of these families. Thursday, more than two years later after the crime, Alderman still waiting for answers and justice. Now, this is just a fraction of this case. We have our full reports that we've done for years right. on WCNC.com. All right, yeah, but yeah. still, the details are so disturbing it's to hear the, heartbreaking, the pain disturbing, over and over again. Just this, an answer is what we need. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Austin.